Hey guys, thanks for watching TFB TV today. I'm Joel. So what I have for you is a review of the CZ Shadow 2 and I have a Dan Wesson ECP Tactical. Let's get into this. Now you might think, why are those together? They're not even in the same category. Here we've got a competition gun. Here we have more of a home defense and everyday carry style gun. Well, because they're both similarly priced, they're both in the 1911, 2011 frame set kind of a thing. They're both nine millimeters, that sort of thing. We're kind of comparing and contrasting them to see if one or the other maybe is a little bit more accurate, better trigger, worse trigger, that sort of thing. All right, guys, what you're here for really is uh, is the shooting, and my opinion, I know, right? So uh, let me go ahead and just kick this off with the specifications, and then I'll get right into the shooting. So the MSRP on the CZ Shadow 2 is $1,349. It is chambered in 9mm. This magazine is, has a capacity of 17 plus 1. This has a steel frame. The uh, trigger mechanism is single action, double action. Uh, the sights, fiber optic front and hey Joe rear. Barrel is cold hammer forged, barrel length 4.89 inches. Overall weight 46.5 ounces, overall length 8.53 inches. The safety is uh, manual and it is ambidextrous. All right, the Dan Wesson specs. Uh, again, this is the ECP tactical. So tactical in this case just means that it has uh, Picatinny you know, section milled out in the front so you can run a light or, or something like that. Uh, so this is a nine millimeter, obviously. The magazine capacity is 10 rounds. The frame is forged aluminum. Slide finish, they call it a duty finish. The grips are G10. Overall length is 7.64 inches. The barrel length is four inches. The weight is 29 ounces. Trigger mechanism, single action. The front sight is a brass dot, basically a, you know, a ball. The rear sight, they call a U-notch. Safety is a manual thumb safety, uh, plus the grip safety. And the MSRP on the Dan Wesson is $1,600. I did shoot both of these guns for accuracy. Um, I set it up at uh, you know, slow fire at 25 yards. Um, and the wind was blowing so hard, man, that I was having trouble, you know, you can see the wind in the in the videos. I was having a lot of trouble holding still. Um, also, my target was wobbling forward and backward. Um, so these groups are probably not indicative of the accuracy that uh, is achievable by these these firearms. Um, so I got frustrated with that and decided to move into 15 yards and do a um, a low supported uh, position with the guns and get a little better accuracy out of that. Still with a moving target, uh, but this is what I got uh, on this day, guys. And I was just using the Winchester white box ammo. So, um, you know, nothing to write home about. Probably the fact that it was really windy. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm more of a precision long range shooter uh, than I am a precision pistol shooter. Although the skill sets transfer over, I just didn't get all that great of results today. All right, guys, now moving on to my opinion of these two guns. Um, you know, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, I would pick the CZ Shadow 2 uh, any day of the week and twice on Sunday over the Dan Wesson model. Um, the trigger is better, and by that I mean the reset. The reset is short and crisp uh, on the Shadow 2. The Dan Wesson has got a great trigger. It's not that bad of a trigger, but I was able to go faster and get more accuracy uh, out of the Shadow 2. I personally also like the fact that the um, the CZ has a higher magazine capacity. I like the fact that the rear sight uh, is completely adjustable for elevation and windage. I like that fiber optic front sight. It's just really easy to see uh, over and above the the Dan Wesson, which you know it's just a little it's just a little brass dot up on the front uh, with the standard black sight. It tends to actually blend in. It is hard to get a front sight focus on that. 
uh, on that pistol. So I, I just wasn't super thrilled with it. I also had um, some malfunctions, uh, actually uh, a malfunction that I couldn't figure out. I ended up chalking it up to, uh, to a faulty magazine. Um, you know, I, it would lock back uh, with, with rounds still in the magazine and I could not get the slide to go forward. Um, and it happened several times. I'm only showing you one here on, on uh, the screen, but uh, I, you know, for me, uh, any gun that malfunctions uh, within the first 200 rounds of, of testing, it's going away. You know, it, it's just not worth it to me. I, if I'm gonna depend my life on these things, especially a gun that's supposed to be an everyday carry pistol, Sorry, it just loses my respect. Um, the CZ uh, gains all of my respect though. This is a very fast gun. The recoil is light due to the heavy nature of the gun. It's very easily controllable. You can go fast with it. It's a great competition gun. It's easy to see why it's so popular. Guys, thanks for watching TFB TV today. Hopefully you appreciated that little comparison between the CZ Shadow 2 and the Dan Wesson ECP tactical both in nine millimeter had a lot of fun shooting these guns today hopefully you enjoyed that hey take a minute to hit up our sponsor ventura munitions those guys are great you'll see a little link down below in the description also consider supporting us through patreon lots of awesome giveaways that happen through there sure could use your your support through there too stay tuned for more great videos from tfb tv